डायरेक्शन को साइंस एंड डायरेक्शन रेशियो ऑफ अलाइन डायरेक्शन एंगल्स आर द एंगल्स मेड बाय द डायरेक्टेड लाइन ओपी विद एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्सेस दीज आर अल्फा बीटा एंड गामा The cosine of these angles, cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma, are called direction cosines of the directed line. If the direction of line is reversed, the direction angles are replaced by their supplement angles, that is, pi minus alpha, pi minus beta, and pi minus gamma. The sines of direction cosines are reversed that is minus cos alpha minus cos beta minus cos gamma It means a given line can be extended in two opposite directions in space So it has two sets of direction cosines To have a unique direction cosines of a given line it must be a directed line The unique direction cosines are denoted by L, M, N. If a line is not passing through the origin, then to find the direction cosines, we draw a line through the origin and parallel to the given line. The two parallel lines have the same set of direction cosines. Any three numbers proportional to the direction cosines of a line are called the direction ratios of the line a is equal to lambda l b is equal to lambda m c is equal to lambda n for any non zero constant lambda belongs to r let a b c be the direction ratios of a line and let l m and n be the direction cosines of the line then l by a is equal to m by b is equal to n by c is equal to a constant k therefore l is equal to ak m is equal to pk and n is equal to ck but L square plus m square plus n square is equal to one. So k square into a square plus b square plus c square is equal to one. Or k is equal to plus minus one by square root of a square plus b square plus c square. Hence the direction cosines of the line are. L is equal to plus minus a by square root of a square plus b square plus c square. M is equal to plus minus b by square root of a square plus b square plus c square. N is equal to plus minus c by square root of a square plus b square plus c square. For any line, if A, B, and C are direction ratios, then any multiples of A, B, C are also direction ratios of the line. Therefore, for any line, there are infinitely many sets of direction ratios.